for joining me for day 23 of the 31 days of BPD and this is step four to managing an episode. So we have distanced, we have communicated, we have challenged and now we are distracting. What? Why do we do this part? Well we, we're trying to keep our levels down and it, what could normally happen if you're at emotional intensity and you're feeling like wow either level five depression or level five anger you may want to go and do things such as self-harm you may want to go and you know maybe um go go and reckless driving have promiscuous sex take drugs all of those things but we don't want to go and do that because they are harmful for us and you know we create long-term bad habits maybe even addictions to certain behaviors and certain things that we you know maybe reach for that maybe make us feel good at the time but over in the long term they don't so what we want to do is develop healthy positive you know things that you can do to distract yourself once your episode is kind of coming to an end or once it's bringing it coming back down again the, the important thing with this part is not to distract at, you know at the higher levels of four and five because you are so in, so involved in your emotions you know you go back to that chart and you're off the scale with your emotions so if you start to distract at you know at an earlier stage it doesn't work um, also, what I would say, if you're still at a level four or five, I wouldn't even go to this part because, you know, you, you still need to do, you know, go back and go over your distance and go over, maybe even do your 10 minutes sitting, moving somewhere else. Try that and make sure that I wouldn't go on to this level until, oh, I'm still holding that up, I'll go on to this level until you're at level three. Uh, so let's let's talk about it just during an episode it can be very difficult to overcome the emotional intensity distracting yourself by actively doing an activity that you've planned ahead maybe something that you do a lot of um is important distracting sends your illness the message that you are going to be in control of your behavior so you're not going to go and reach for drugs and things like that you may want to reach for crochet and you know possibly you know make your own lovely blanket it takes time takes practice <clears throat> and you might want to throw things across the room when you're learning but it's a really good mindfulness thing because you're really focusing on it and you can really you know get your head sort of out of that emotional place <clears throat> and into back into the real world again i'm going to give you a list of these so they're distracting or self-soothing activities so sorry i'll just quickly finish off what i'm saying mm. Distracting gives you something else to focus on until the emotional intensity decreases. So if you're if you are still kind of at level three, we still want to get you back down, maybe a level two or even a level one, which would be great. Still higher than most, remember, they're here, we're up here. But if if you have this um you know planned activity that you can go to that will help you just kind of go, hmm. Relax, it could be meditation. I'm going to read some out to you. Some of these, they may make you go, what? I don't want to do that. It's going to make me more angry. Then don't do it. Do what works for you and maybe even make a list. I'm going to put a list of some of these activities in the description below. But in the comments, please list some of yours. If you've got some really cool distance, distracting te te uh, or self-soothing act self activities. So, okay, I'm just going to read some out. Clean the house. Colour. Cook. Cuddle in a blanket with a stuffed animal. Dance. Do volunteer work. Doodle. Draw. Get away. Uh, give feedback. Go to a movie. Have some hot chocolate or a coffee. Go into your hobby. Um, jigsaw puzzles. Listen to music. Listen to music for me. I find it's a really, really good distraction. Um, I actually, um, I mean, I've told you about my very eclectic taste in music, but I do you find drum and bass can cheer me up. Um, most people probably think, oh God, I couldn't stand listening to that, but whatever works for you. You may find a bit of pop music, classical music, um, R&B, hip hop, whatever. Whatever, in, you know, maybe there's that song that you love, put that on, it might lift you a little bit. And, you know, maybe if <clears throat> you can even have like a playlist on your phone that you can have like an angry playlist or a sad playlist. That works really well, because then you're not going to put on a song that might make you go, or, 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 or whatever. Um, what other things? Play a musical instrument, read positive, positive, positive affirmations. You can find these online. You can create your own. I have my own positive affirmations that I say to myself. I say, um, lots of people care about me. I'm confident and capable. Um, I'm healthy and happy. 
things like that but the, you know you start to say a lot of negative words and I think when you give out a lot of negative energy you're just creating negative energy and you're not going to get anything but negative stuff back so if you're putting out positive stuff that will help like I say all of these things take time and they don't work for everyone some of you might may think reading out positive affirmation is a bit ugh, you know don't do it then don't do it um word puzzles work on a project yoga crochet do some writing Maybe even start your own blog or blog. Um, ride the bus, sew, shower, lip sing, lip sync. There's loads of different things you can do. And like I say, if you're at level five, if you want to try and do these things, I would say it's a bit of a, it's gonna it could trigger you, it could make you feel worse, it could even wind you up so much so that you end up bringing your levels back up again. So again, make sure that you distract when your levels are low, and make sure that you don't make any big decisions. I haven't said this in any other ones, but if you're at a higher level. Of emotions and you make a really big decision like um, breaking up with your partner or um, you know changing your job and things like that don't make big decisions when you're in an episode you're not thinking clearly you may even be dissociating so you may be sort of not in the realms of reality you may even go to psychosis you may even go to self-harm so what we want to do is make sure that those levels come back down stay low but don't make any big decisions at that at that high level because you may regret it when your levels have returned. So I've listed some activities, but what we want to do now is we've got to step four. So we've distanced, we've communicated, we've challenged, and now we've distract, distracted. I will put some information in the comments below. Tomorrow will be step five, the final, the final step in the uh, managing an episode. I look forward to seeing you then. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Chuck any comments, questions in the space below. What are your distracting activities? I'm sure some people may cleaning the house may make them go, I don't want to clean the house. Oh, that might be the area that, you know, maybe you're, you know, maybe you need to, you know, maybe you're a bit messy or whatever. Whatever works for you. If it makes you feel silly, annoyed, irritated or uncomfortable, do not do it throw it away do something that makes you feel relaxed that makes you feel at ease that doesn't wind you up um because you know i think sometimes when you're coming out of that episode you'll feel very quick you can be very quickly to um uh still kind of go back up so you want to just keep everything nice and low thanks for watching uh today um, um i've already said please like and subscribe but please do and i will see you tomorrow for step five um, for 31 days of BPD. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.